honor of Mother's Day this weekend. I'm using my mummy mug. I, this is one of my, I say everything's my favorite, but this is one of my favorite mugs. I've kind of forgot about it because it got pushed back in the cupboard. And then I was just kind of like looking at my mugs and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot about this one. I got it for Christmas a couple years ago, but I'm using it today and I'll probably use it every day until Mother's Day. Cause I love it. That's so me. Like look at the hair. It's so me. It's raining. It's a little bit chilly. It makes me not really want to run any sort of errands. I don't really have any errands to be honest with you. But I'm like, look at me. Like this is a mood. I'm just like slow going. I didn't go to the gym. I was going five days a week and now I'm like going two days a week. <laughs> Um, so I'm noticing that I'm like dwindling off of that. So I want to get back to that. So I will, cause I'm, I'm good like that. If I, you know what I mean? I will. But today I was like, I, the excuses got the better of me. I was like, it's raining and it's cold and I need to get gas. So I'm just not going to go. <laughs> That's so the way I work. So anyways, I should have went. I should have went. I still can. It's still early, but I'm not going today. That's okay. Try again tomorrow. Maybe I'll make it there. Oh, okay. This nail polish, like it's a little chipped, right? But it's been what? How many days has it been? Almost a week, maybe? Four days? Five days? I don't know. Nail polish never lasts like this long, especially the amount that I like bang things around here. Like Okay, okay, this is my, sorry, this is my right hand. It's a bit more, I might remove them today and then maybe put the pink on. You guys know how I don't love my little birthmark thing, right? Like, you guys know I'm always like, oh, I'm trying to hide it, blah, blah, blah. Well, everyone knows that about me <laughs> in my life. And Florence loves my birthmark. Like, she loves it. And I think it's more so because I've had it her whole life. Like, I've had it my whole life. Um, and she doesn't know me any other way. And to her, like, you know, you know, in your, like, to me, when I think of my mom, like, my mom is perfect. I wouldn't change a thing about my mom. I love my mom. Um, and that's obviously what Florence thinks of me. Like, she thinks that I'm perfect and that this makes me me and all that stuff and she doesn't love that I don't love it like she's like I, she's like seriously she's like it's so nice she's like you shouldn't try to hide it blah blah, blah. she's literally so wise behind her beyond her years she knows that I don't love it so god love her yesterday she sent me um a tiktok she like me and florence will send each other like tiktoks that remind us of each other or like funny ones or like through text messaging um or we'll send each other funny memes and anyway um so she sent me a tiktok of this girl who had the exact same birthmark as me and the girl was absolutely stunning hers was a bit more noticeable because her hair was like almost black naturally and the thing about this birthmark is that it doesn't um color can't stay on it it this streak does not hold pigment so even if i got my hair colored like even if i colored my hair like black that would stay completely white that's why i don't color it because it doesn't hold color but this girl had like black hair like dark dark brown black hair and her birthmark was very prominent it was in the exact same spot as mine and she was like kind of embracing it and showing it and like she she looked beautiful and stunning and she was kind of like people pay all this money to to get this look and I have it for free and, and she didn't say it in like a like a cocky way it was just kind of like love yourself type of thing um and Florence sent it to me and I was just, I literally almost cried I was like she knows I don't love that part of me and she just sent me this video like I don't know she's so wise behind her years like and I just she's so her heart is so pure and so kind and she hates when people don't feel good about themselves like she's very much like 
I don't know if this is the correct term, but like hype girl, like if you ever hear that, like, oh, like I'm a hype girl, like she like hypes people up all the time. Um, and it was just like, it just meant so much to me. Now, every time I see it, I'm like, mm. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it just meant a lot to me to receive that text from her. Spent all that time talking about my hair and then I throw it up. But you guys, I think this one's my new favorite scrunchie. I thought the other one was, but no. I think it's this one. That's cute, right? I love that. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm going to take my nail polish off. One sec. Uh, where's the polish remover? Oh, you guys can see me. I was out of the frame. Um, I'm going to repaint it one of these colors, but I'm going to take my polish off. But before I put new polish on, I think I want to make homemade pizza for supper tonight. So I'm going to make the pizza dough. I don't like baking, like kneading dough when I have nail polish on. I don't do it with rains on either, but, um, I just find that gross. I don't know. <laughs> like I, and if I have fake nails on, like, um, gel nails or whatever I used to get my nails done I won't bake like I won't do kneading because I just feel like I don't know I just feel like it's gross I, I used to do gel nails so um as a living and um so I don't know I think I just know too much so I'm like eh, I don't know I just don't want any like nail polish to flake off in the dough it removes really nicely too like I'm still on the first Talk to you guys while I fold some laundry, but Trevor and I made a mistake and um, I was telling you guys about Alex's birthday, right? We're having his party a few weekends from now, like next weekend maybe it is, I don't know. We booked his party <coughs> someplace and, the, oh, I should move my bra. And the thing is, is we booked it at the exact time as our vaccines. <laughs> Trevor and I get our vaccines next weekend and um, we booked Alex's birthday party for the exact same time like down like the same minute like oh, I was like oh my god we didn't even think of it and then we were sitting talking and Trevor's like oh my god he's like that's the day of our vaccines so anyways we're not canceling our vaccines um I mean, I've, I guess oh, I could because I'm not like at a high risk or nothing. Um, so if anything, like I could. This is how I fold. I like just throw them and then I put them away. I don't really fold. I just sort and then I put them away. Because um, we hang all our clothes. We don't um, fold them in drawers. Well, I mean, anyway. So, because Trevor definitely needs to get vaccinated, like for sure with his health and stuff. So... I know we're in the process of trying to change Alex's party, but it's like we're having terrible luck getting hold of this place to like ask if we can move it to the next day. We're keeping our vaccine appointments like for sure. Cause you know, but in the same sense, it's like, oh my gosh, how did we do that? Like, how do we book to like, we don't have anything going on ever. <laughs> Look at this shirt, it's so cute. Florence has the cutest clothes. Like, I think that color is so pretty. You look pretty. I love that color. <laughs> she looks good in that color, too. I got the pizza dough done in the rising, so that would be nice. And then I also painted my nails. I don't know. You know, just fun. A little sneak peek of Alex's birthday gift. Um, it's upside down. I think you can tell it's a, a basketball net because remember I showed you the basketball net outside that day. It fell from the wind. Well, it actually, it broke, completely broke. So let me see if I can get this where you guys can see it. But we got him this. He knows about it. He went out yesterday with Trevor and he picked it out. Uh, a slam it ring rim. That sounds fun. Um, the one we had was only like six feet. Alex really wanted to get a higher one, the one that was taller. So this one looks pretty good. We got it at Canadian Tire. Sorry, I don't know if you can even really see it, but that's his birthday gift from 
Me, Trevor, and Florence. I really can't believe that he's turning 10. Like, I know we all say this about our kids, but <laughs> my youngest is 10. Like, the baby is 10. It's so, it's so bizarre. And it, Alex's birth has always been something unique. <laughs> I had, um, I almost died in childbirth with Alex. Uh, it was very serious. I ended up in ICU, uh, like intensive care, you know, you guys know what that is. Um, and it was pretty traumatic and I don't have a lot of memories of Alex's birth. And I used to beat myself up over, I was like, I literally don't remember his birth, like how awful because like Florence's birth, I remember everything like I remember it as if it was like it happened an hour ago I remember every detail of the day everything and Alex I just said I was put I was put under um with Alex and I I just don't have any memory of it and anyways but I don't know <laughs> Alex's birth like we always just think back like what a time in our life that was He's so freaking awesome, you guys. Like, I I can't tell you enough. And I remember when I found out I was having a boy, I was like, how am I going to raise a boy? Because, you know me, like, I'm so, like, you know, like, girly girl. I don't even know if that's, like, a pro polit politically correct term to use anymore. But, like, I'm very, like, feminine and very, like, I like all the you know, makeup and all that stuff. And I like doing you know what I mean so when I had Florence it was very like oh my gosh we get to do bows and braids and dresses and tutus and you know and then when I found out I was having a boy I was like I don't even know what you do with a boy <laughs> and I tell you he is one of the greatest things in my life like the relationship Alex and I have I never want to lose it like I, I just cherish him so much oh he's so incredible you guys I, I mean i'll probably talk to you guys a bit more on his birthday about it he's just he's so funny and he's so like witty and he's quick do you know what i mean like he's really fun to be around um and i feel like you guys don't really know that much about the kids anymore because i don't talk about them much on my channel anymore and i don't show them as much just because of their age. With that being said, uh, we have a fun little day planned for actual Al actual Alex's actual birthday, which is May 13th. And he actually asked me if I would vlog it. And I was like, really? You want me to, to vlog it and put it on the internet? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. So that's a request from him. So I'll do it. My channel used to be very much like, like mummy, like it used to even be called mummy moments, but like, it was just like my journey through motherhood, but it it wasn't, I don't know. I guess I just more so shared memories of the kids and stuff, but now it's more so me as a person, not necessarily me as a mother. You know what I mean? Before it was just me as a mother. And now I just feel like it's just me as me. And a mother is a huge part of me, but it's like not the center focus of my channel like i like a lot of things like you guys know i'm like crazy over animal crossing i love makeup i love planning i love um talking to you guys i struggle with anxiety share that with you guys so it's it's shifted over the years but i don't know how i got on this topic <laughs> i was talking about alex <laughs> so i'm going to end this video here but quick update we got his birthday switched um the people that we booked his party with finally got back to us and we were able to switch his birthday to the next day so all is well we can get our vaccines and we can celebrate alex's birthday <laughs> thank god anyways i'm going to end this video here i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and i will see you in my next video bye